Hello Vlogcrafters, my name is George and this is the Spare Time G and today we're going to make a tiny figure of Space Punisher Hulk. I kind of decided to have this kind of a challenge-like video to sculpt the Space Punisher Hulk which is one of my favorite versions of the Hulk and at the same time the material I have used was one of the most prominent ones from my colored clay as I had a lot of green and I have separated them and added them together into this bowl and I'm trying to sculpt the whole sculpture from this one. And I'm starting out by cutting the leg portion away from the oral else, everything else. Then I'm separating the torso part from hands, arms, and I am dividing them as well. Then I have decided that the torso part is quite chunky in this um, separation and I cut off the extra slack which I will add uh, in uh, the body parts where I will kind of run into the shortage of clay. Then I will uh, at last will divide also the arms into four uh, individual pieces and of course I will start with the torso. So of course in this technique I'm starting out from the torso because in my opinion, it is the best benchmark for setting up the proportions for your later figure in order to kind of measure the leg and arms and even head pieces to it and understand how proportional they will look once assembled. These are th three separate pieces for the one leg, of course, the foot, the cull version and the above knee portion of the leg. And of course, you will have to connect them together. Uh, sculpting like this, like piece by piece, is one of the most uh, like likable version of sculpting for me at least. Probably this is because when I was a child I had quite a limited, ver limited amount of clay and was used to making uh, figures in this size, this exact size, so I was like more uh, familiar with making separate pieces of limbs, torso part, and basically sculpting like this and because of that I'm quite friendly with this technique and enjoy it very much. And I think that in this kind of smaller scales it is like a superior version instead of making a chunk and then carving everything out of it. Uh, once you're done with the leg and attach, you have already attached it, it will look kind of skinny, but don't worry because of that. Here I have already started adding the bulges of clay as a muscles and you can already see that this guy's right leg at least do not look skinny at all. It is quite fine technique as you can vary the thickness of muscles again. Uh, or probably, personally, I am going a little bit uh, farther away and making him more muscular than he is depicted in the comics. And it's fine if you kind of work with the sleeker version. Uh, don't be afraid of these borders. Once you're done, of course, using the smooth rubber tool, you can simply go over it and rub it in the cracks of the muscles, individual muscles, and make them blend together, which will be much more like lively looking but at the same time this will also make the overall creature's surface, muscle surface go like uh, dimmer so to say as they won't be popping up as much as they are now. In my opinion he's the strongest version of Hulk, he's a little different. If you haven't seen the comic yet I do not really want to spoil it but he looks rather different as you can see. Also he has like four arms arms are the things I'm doing right now and the odd thing about him is that forearms are not located uh, with the more like traditional versions of forearmed creatures like forearms in Ben 10 or like forearmed creatures in Clash of the Titans or other movies of course Goro from the Mortal Kombat and uh, they are separated parallel to the main hands but or rather on the back. So it is quite awkward, I don't really understand how, uh, how ergonomic that set is. Uh, um, 
against the traditional one where the hands are located more like down uh, onto the rib cage part in the middle of the torso and they are as articulate as the main ones on the top on the shoulders and more or less uh, here on the um, Space Punisher Hulk's torso the frontal hair hands are quite frankly like covering and especially his muscle hands are covering the whole frontal portion of space where he can grab a thing or do something with it, punch it or whatever. In the comic city they are working quite well for him of course. So we are done for the hands portions and then I have already attached it to the sculpture. It is quite hard to do anything on this scale but especially it is quite hard to create the similar pieces for the figure and in my opinion it turned out quite nicely the only thing which is left is the head and to blend the muscle borders so this is the final version i have created everything the head also blend the muscles as much as i could but as you can see i do not really have worked on the facial features this is because it is quite hard to work at this scale and i don't really recommend doing it at all because it is much 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 easier to mess everything up and create the derpy looking figure instead you can simply change it with a plain looking face in this case i have also added the jawline eye shades and the nose because to have some kind of a preference um, for the real actual face but i didn't risk to go and do all like eyes and separate pieces this is a miniature version of space punisher hulk great piece and great size and scale for someone who is limited with the clay but still wants to have other kind of uh, superhero collection with it thank you very much for watching i hope you like this project as much as i enjoyed sculpting it it was a more or less nostalgic moment for me as I like return to my childhood and the childhood sculpting technique. And if you like this one, I will definitely continue making other titans at this scale. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Goodbye.